This is the Central Building Research Institute of the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, located in the serene foothills of the Himalayas. A unique place of research and development, covering all areas of building science and engineering. Long back in 1947, when this institute was established, the visionary leadership of our, in, uh, of our country, they envisaged that CBRI will address to the problem of development of indigenous building materials and CSIR CBRI is one of the agencies in the country which addresses to the need of development of alternative and indigenous building materials. And we successfully developed few building materials which are quite useful and widely applied in the society. In this temple of modern India, the scientists are the priests, devoted to the generation, cultivation and promotion of building science and technology in service of the humanity. A highly populated country like India needs another 40 million dwelling units to provide livable houses to its people. The ever-growing demand of building materials has already started showing signs of over-exploitation of its natural resources. The material scientists of the institute have been pondering on this problem. They are confident to reverse the scenario by the innovative building materials, processes and techniques developed here. Demand of building timber is fast depleting green forest cover. But here is wood without trees. It uses rice husk and binders to extrude sections for use in doors, windows and furniture. EPS door shutters require about 50% less timber. These fresh doors have the inner core of expanded polystyrene. Huge quantities of pine needle are shed every year by the pine trees of the Himalayas. BB coir fiber is a waste from coir industry. Jute and sisal, obtained from cultivated or wild growing fibrous plants, are a perennial source of important natural fiber for making boards and panels for use in building construction. Industrial wastes like phosphogypsum, quota stone solid and slurry waste, fly ash from thermal power plants pose a grave disposal problem. But for the scientists here, these are important raw materials for producing good quality building boards, blocks, bricks and tiles. Mining of sand, gravel and boulders for use in cement concrete is badly affecting the natural ecosystem. Institutional know-how of making bloated clay aggregate can replace sand and stone aggregate in certain situations. And this is the pressure on natural resources. Clay bricks are the most important building materials since time immemorial. The old-fashioned brick kilns is pure smoke, dust and ash and burn huge quantities of coal, causing serious air pollution. The Brick and Tile Manufacturers Association of India therefore decided to opt for the CSIR CBRI developed technology. Today, almost all brick manufacturers of the northern and central India are using this technology because it is environment friendly and more economical too. High quality bricks extruded by the machine are much stronger, dense and of high finish. Delhi and Chandigarh are examples where these high quality machine made bricks have been widely used in building construction. Because of the high strength, only 20 cm thick walls can take the loads of up to 4 story buildings. This can save huge quantities of cement, steel, sand and stone aggregate. These machine extruded bricks and tiles are more impervious and have therefore been chosen by the engineers for lining irrigation canals to reduce loss of water by seepage. Seepage of water and corrosive elements in cement concrete are a major cause of structure failure. Here, 
scientists have developed high grade coatings for steel and cement concrete for their protection from corrosion. These materials have been used in important bridges and other structures in coastal regions and corrosive environments of industry. Building fires are the most common type of fires responsible for a national loss of about a thousand crores every year. The institute has developed special materials to check initiation of fire and retard its propagation. Non-inflammable cloth for curtains, tapestry and canvas for tents and shamianas have been developed here. Every year, large number of rural houses are gutted by fires that spread fast through thatch roofs and bamboo construction. This has not gone unnoticed from the scientists of the CSIR CBRI. These thatch roofs do not catch fire. The stabilized mud coating on the top and sides of the thatch roof prevent entry of oxygen through the thatch and does not allow spread of flame. This bitumen stabilized mud mortar can also protect mud walls from rains for decades. The material scientists are now perfecting technologies like nano-engineered concrete, bio-concrete, geopolymer concrete, corrosion inhibiting coatings and several others for the future. The crop of knowledge is ready to harvest. It is now for the building material and construction industry to pioneer in the interest of the nation and in their own interest. <laughs>